Hello guys, this is Universal Giant, this is Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing, and let's finish off Dino Domain, shall we? Before we do the trophy race, it's time for us to pick up something that I'm sure most of you noticed the first or second time we went through here. Sitting on this ramp off to the side is a key! A key that I missed! Because I suck! But we knew that I sucked! And get off the rip, dude! Dude! Key! Thank you! So what the key does is it will open up a little battle arena here. There are four different battle arenas. Two of them are similar, and two of them are pretty unique. This is one of the unique ones here. Fire Mountain, first player to hatch three eggs will win. The objective is to grab an egg from inside this nest here, bring it up to your own, and if you get close enough to your nest that you can drop it in the nest. Um, okay, I apparently forgot how to drop this thing. Um, um, uh, damn it. Oh, there we go. Z button. Okay. You can also steal eggs from other players' nests before they hatch, like I just stole banjos, somebody just stole mine, and somebody else just stole bumpers. So, let's get it back, and steal from somebody else, because there can only be three eggs in play at once. And these guys really like stealing from you, so... Oh, I dropped it, didn't I? Well, now that mine hatched, there are two more in the nest, and... Banjo just stole mine! I wanted it, Banjo. Where are you? No! People are stealing the things I'm trying to steal! That's not fair. But at least they're stealing from amongst themselves. Okay, so I press Z to drop it in. And I will... Hey, is that you, Diddy? Screw you, Diddy. Bumper! Bumper! Asshole! You already have three! Two! Shit. I should trail Bumper to steal his. Because he's going to win and nobody else is going after it, so which egg is it? Okay. Screw you, Bumper. He's got another one? How did you know I was gonna- God damn it. He's gonna win. And there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, no, he's not. Banjo. Egg, please. Banjo egg. Banjo egg? I don't want banjo eggs. Ew. Kazooie eggs are nice. Oh, darn it, Diddy has two now. God damn it, everybody's going after me! Uh, everyone's going after me and mine. Uh, I don't remember this being so difficult. I really don't. Although I think I might have just screwed up the first time because I forgot that you have to press Z to let go of the egg. Which is something you don't want to mess up, I guess. So yeah, Diddy, I know you're a pain in the neck, that's why I'm going after you. You and Bumper. Banjo's not much of an issue. Damn it! Ugh, I wanted to use the missile, I forgot I couldn't because I had an egg. Ugh. I mean, this is the only time you would ever play this game unless you were doing multiplayer or something. Nobody else has eggs? Come on. I need to... Damn it. The idea is, I guess you want to steal people's eggs so theirs don't hatch. You can only have three in play at a time. So me and Bumper have two in our nests, and somebody else is holding the third. And did yours hatch? It did hatch. So did mine. So there are two more in the nest, and... God damn it. Well, I need to make sure Bumper doesn't get it. Where's Bumper? Maybe he didn't get it. Did he? Yeah, he didn't get it. Okay. So now, I need some way to protect my nest. And that might help, I guess. Um, dude, Pipsy, 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 come on. Drop it in the nest. There we go. Now, if anybody comes close, I will kill them. I will kill them. I will kill whoever comes close. There we go. First place. Catch three eggs first. And Taj will... Oh, I shouldn't have skipped that. Because he rewards us with a piece of the TT amulet. We won't find out what that's used for for a good long while. But we need to collect all four pieces, so it's nice to start collecting them now. Anyway, now that that's over with, there's only one thing left we have to do in Dino Domain. The trophy race! 
which is the equivalent of a Mario Kart Grand Prix. Have to do all four races here against more difficult CPUs. So at this point, it's pretty much a drive-through. But these guys are faster! Erg. But the first races are not difficult. They, they aren't, really. They're a nice introduction, though. Their Dino Domain is pretty peaceful. I should also mention, I like this game slightly more than Mario Kart, even though Mario Kart is... Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it's... The two games are completely different. I mean, you would think old-school Nintendo 64 racing games, yeah, they're all the same, but... I mean, they're styled completely differently. The, forget the additional adventure mode and everything that you're doing in this game that Mario Kart doesn't have. But just the item system is much more fair. You know exactly what items you're going to get. Your, your opponents can only get certain items. I mean, there's no, like, bullshit item, like a blue shell or a thundercloud. There's none of that. All the races are nice and fair. And I like that. Especially after getting to know Mario Kart Wii a little bit better. Because even Mario Kart 64 wasn't that bad. Blue shell out was a bit annoying, but it wasn't, like, a killer. Just... I, I don't know. I like fairness. I like when things are fair. And it annoys me that life is not like that. These guys are a lot closer than I'd like them to be. But it's, you know, it's nice and relaxing to play this game again. Uh, I think I got it uh, as a holiday present when I was very young, and I... I'm pretty sure about that because I remember it being a special occasion when my parents would allow me to stay up after 8 o'clock to play a game. Ah, um, memories of childhood. I'm sure a number of you guys grew up on the Nintendo 64, but those of you that didn't really missed out because it was... I, I mean, a lot of fans would argue that this is one of the best consoles made. I, I mean, it... it Considering how much other consoles can do, I suppose it's difficult to see just how much it meant to the generation it was released in, but it brought so much to the video game range industry, like games like Super Mario 64 just changed the video gaming world as you know it now. Innovational games that made an impact. I mean, you... Those of you that are, I, I don't know, maybe 15 or 16 now, can't really remember what gaming was like back in the day before we had all of these awesome things and wireless internets and all of those weird magical things that we take for granted now. It really was a different world back then. And it can be fun to reflect back on it sometimes. That's why I enjoy playing Game Boy games, even though I, I don't... I know there's a group of you that agree with me and think that classic video gaming, you, you just can't beat it. There's a sort of nostalgia about it, but there's also a purity. It's just something that games these days with fancy graphics and multiplayer online shooting, just graphics in general, that, there's just something about the classic games that uh, they always bring you back for more, no matter how outdated graphics or controls seem to be. And I, I just think it's hard to grasp that if you weren't in that generation. I don't know. I just need something to rant about while I race, that's all. These first races aren't difficult. I remember some of the other tr later trophy races to be difficult, but really the silver coin challenges are the most difficult things in this game, not the trophy races. The trophy races are a walk in the park compared to those. Oh, by the way, that is, like, bouncy lava. It, yeah, kind of weird how it looks. 
but it, you know, it works. So Crunch is the one I hit him. It crunches the Kremlin. Kremlin, Critter. Critters are Kremlings. Kremlings are Critters. I, I, I think Kremlings are Critters, not Critters are Kremlings, but I always get them confused. And when I say always, I mean just now that I start caring. God damn it. There's Banjo again. Mr. Dinosaur, I know you have a name that I keep forgetting. I can call you Dino. But that wouldn't be correct, because you're not Dino. You're a completely different dinosaur. And just so you know, you don't need to come in first in these races. You just need to be at the head of the leaderboard when the Grand Prix concludes, which is good, because there's no way I'm finishing first in this race. But since I was already ahead by 12 points, it doesn't matter. So I could just sit here doing those. I love doing those tricks. They serve very little purpose in racing, and they pretty much just hold you back. But since I was already ahead by 12 points, it didn't matter where I placed, because I would win. And we got a pretty whiz pig trophy. As you'd expect, you could also get a silver trophy and a bronze trophy, but I believe you need to get all golds. And since I would be an idiot not to, I will go for all golds. So everything in Dino Domain is done, and we can finally exit the world. And when we do, we'll encounter an old friend. I challenge you to a race. Alakazoo! This is by far the easiest race in the game. Just go in a big circle following the flags, and don't go too far off course, because this is the main world, and you'd be really tempted to go out of your way and cheat, especially with the plane. But, you know, they put flags here, so if you go too far out of bounds, you'll get disqualified. Or the race will just automatically end, and you'll lose and have to do it all over. But you can always contact Taj by either running into him or honking around him and he'll be more than happy to race you again. I don't even know why they put this race in. This race was a joke. Getting the silver balloon he gives us afterwards is much less of a joke. I always had difficulty getting that for some reason, but I didn't. So, make me a plain genie man. We can also select the challenges if you didn't catch that when I was switching vehicles. But now let's move on to World 2, which is the wintry place. And I think I have time for this because I probably cut out my first attempt at um, the Dino Domain Battle thing, Fire Mountain. Probably cut that out. So Ever Frost Peak, a second plane stage. And can I emphasize enough the fact that this is mirrored in Adventure 2? I'm going to have to remind myself of that, lest I continually make wrong turns. So if you see me turning in a completely wrong direction, that's why. Because I don't expect to go in that direction. You can also hit the dash pads on the ground with the plane. But, for the most part, they're pretty difficult to hit. I mean, you have to pretty much be on the ground to hit them, and with a plane, that's pretty difficult to do. I think there's also, yeah, there's a rainbow balloon there, too, if you want. You can go above this area. Which you will have to do for a silver coin, at least in the adventure. Adventure 2, I don't know. Like I said before, I don't remember where all of the Adventure 2 balloons are. Silver coins, excuse me. So they're going to be fun to find. You can barely see the pink arrow on the red map. They paint the map red just to contrast the blue in this stage. Uh, I might have pointed it out uh, earlier, but the arrows on the side of the screen either side 
indicate what direction you're supposed to be turning, or if there's just a strange hazard that can't be explained by arrows, it's in the form of an exclamation point. Also, something about the airplane boosts, and you'll see in the hovercraft boosts as well, is that if you're not aligned with them perfectly straight, they'll redirect you in that direction. Anyway, I think we're out of time for this part, so in the next part, we will continue through this second world, whose name I forget, silly enough, and we will go to... Is that Walrus Cove? I think it's Walrus Cove. We'll go to Walrus Cove. See you then.